Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Qualities. Today we're going to review a keyboard replacement on a Dell Precision 3551. Pay attention today, we're going to go over some shortcuts and ways to help you save time on this. Start off by removing and loosening all the screws on the bottom cover. You're going to use your favorite pry tool to get that bottom cover off. Preferably a plastic spudger or something that won't scratch or damage. First things first, we got to disconnect that battery. Remove the two screws from either side of the battery. And it removes right off of the inner frame assembly there. Removing the screws off of your SSD hard drive. Remove that hard drive. I'm going to uh, remove the bracket holding your Wi-Fi card in place. When I remove this Wi-Fi card, it's got a little sticky under there. I'm going to pry it up a little bit and then just remove it, but do not disconnect those Wi-Fi cables and antennas. Leave it right in place where it sits. I'll show you later what we'll do with that. Now I'm removing all of the screws off of the inner frame assembly. It's the black L-shaped bracket that covers your motherboard and the lower part of the chassis there. You'll take note as you're removing screws, the ones that are over the motherboard are going to be your longer 5mm screws, where the ones that are down lower are only 3mm. So keep those screws organized in your workspace. So when you're putting this back together, you're going to make sure you get those 3mm correct location. Now I'm removing the uh, CMOS battery that mounts on top of that bracket or the uh, frame assembly and I'm removing my speaker cable. Once I get those out of the way I can anchor the whole thing up and out of the way with the Wi-Fi antenna cables in their tracks. That'll save you some time later. Once I get that out of the way I'm removing uh, my ribbon cables various different uh, devices. I'm going to remove my, from the side, left side, I'm removing the um, SIM card. Two screws for the fan. And you don't need to remove anything else. Now I'm just going to go around the perimeter. I've got two screws that hold in that right side bracket. And I'm just going to work my way around the motherboard. I've got a screw at the top right, one at the top left, one at the far left, and one in the lower left. Four screws that are holding that motherboard in place. Once I get those out, I just pry the whole thing up. The heat sink and all with the fan. You can see I still have my uh, DC jack in place up there. And the whole thing just folds right up over the top. Now I've exposed the, key the keyboard assembly. Once I get to that, you see all the screws that I'm removing around the perimeter. I've sped the video up here so I don't bore you with uh, removing screws. Now I'm disconnecting four ribbon cables that come from the keyboard. Once those are disconnected, I'll pry up the keyboard frame. Once this comes out, I flip it over. Now I'm ready to remove the screws that hold the keyboard to the keyboard frame. Now these screws along the top, I'm only going to give them a couple twists. Do not remove them. That one accidentally came out, so I'm going to put it back in. You're just loosening them. All the rest of the screws you can remove all the way. Once you get all these out of the way, you can pry the keyboard up carefully and it slides out from the top mounting screws. Now 
bring your new keyboard in place, slide it into the top mounting screws and put all the screws in in reverse order. Remember when you're putting screws back in place, do not over tighten them. You only want to just bring them slightly snug. That's all you need to do. Sometimes you over tighten screws and you damage product. When you're putting the frame back in place, you're going to make sure that you're not pinching anything underneath. So all these ribbon cables, you need to get them on top. I've, uh, I've left a couple cables undone or underneath the frame before, and uh, it, it always causes you to have to go back out and remove some screws and try to remove those uh, pinched cables underneath. So just uh, take extra care. And you can see that I'm gently just removing cables out of the way, making sure everything's loose, and then make sure that that frame sits back in place with all your screw holes aligned. Once you get that done, then you can start uh, replacing all of the perimeter screws. You see first things first, I'm uh, reconnecting because sometimes I forget to connect these cables. So while I'm thinking about it, I'm just gonna throw those cables in. Four cables that come from the keyboard that you need to reconnect. And we'll get those perimeter screws put back in. Speed the video up a little bit, speed things along here. that in place and all your screws in place and then we're going to fold our motherboard back down in place. And typically you're going to try to get the right side of those ports into the right side chassis there. And again I'm removing cables making sure that all my cables are exposed and not pinched underneath the motherboard. One by one connect these ribbon cables. Place the right side bracket and the two screws that hold it in. You see I had a hard time aligning this bracket and getting that bottom screw hole lined up. But I had to pry the heat sink up just a little bit to get it in place. Then I replaced the four anchor screws for the motherboard. Two at the top and two on the left. Put my SIM card holder back in place. I'm going to get my two fan screws back in place. And bring my inner frame assembly back into place. Got to get your CMOS battery up through that slot there and back in where it sits. Make sure all my screws and holes align up. And remember your shorter screws are going in the bottom half. The longer screws will go in the upper half over the motherboard. Because that motherboard's there, it requires longer screws to mount it. Reinsert your Wi-Fi card. If one of those Wi-Fi antennas comes undone, you can carefully put them back in place using some tweezer needle nose pliers and a small screwdriver. 
put my Wi-Fi bracket back in place that holds that down. I'm gonna get my speaker cable rerouted on the cable management there on the left. My M.2 SSD card back in place with two screws. Back in goes the battery. Just snug those screws on the left and right back down and plug our battery back in and that should about do it. See right here I I failed to put the speaker wire in the proper channel and it was under the battery so the battery wouldn't seat flush. So I'm rerouting that speaker cable, getting it out of the way so the battery will sit proper. Once you get your bottom cover back on, before you tighten your screws down, make sure you uh, power it on, make sure everything looks good. Snug those screws back down on the bottom cover. Really appreciate everyone for joining. We're going to be adding a lot more videos shortly, so stay tuned.